mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Well, good morning, folks. If you can't realise, we're at a special day out today. We're at Bancroft Mill in Barnoldswick, and we're here to see the uh, flywheels and the uh, engine house work. Um, they fire it up once a month, and uh, every time I try to come, I always miss it. So we're here today, and we're going to see it working. Done a bit of filming already. We're just going to see the boilers and how they create the steam that pushes the pressure into the flywheels. Flywheels turn the crankshaft. Um, crankshaft turns the belt drives. That runs off the uh, machinery. So the entire the entire building is literally just one big engine. The entire mill becomes the actual engine um, yeah so it's gonna I'm, I'm not really gonna do much talking in this one I'm just gonna show you how it works I'll try and get some information cards and you can see and read and here we go we're gonna have the boilers now Are you ready? How fast does this one go? I'm not too sure, you'll have to see. She's running again. But she's not connected to anything, so there's no belt drive or anything that's connected into it. It's just a just a fully working engine, right? Alright, shall we go and see where this is made the steam?
So guys, this tiny little steam powered machine, flywheel, is called an economizer. And what it used to do, it used to preheat the water, it'd have a water tank just underneath the floor here, preheat the water, and then that warm water would go into the boiler. And it saved them, it saved them up to 30% coal usage a week. So by pre-warming pre the water first, it didn't cost as much coal to heat the water in the boiler, the actual main boiler. Genius. <laughs> so if you want to slide that down and read that, it's interesting. No, they built it brick by brick and then built upwards. Steeple jacks. Right, guys, so there we go. That's a little tour of a Bancroft Mill engine. Um, if you want to come down, they're open once a month, 11 till 4. You can uh, grab a brew and there's cakes on sale and stuff like that. So if you want a bit of refreshment, they offer that too. Do a guided tour. So, yeah, a little look around an old steam engine. Oh, so it's, uh, it's what's left of the mill. Um, the rest of the mill was demolished in '77. I think it fell into disrepair or some sort of some such nonsense. But yeah, that's all that's left of it. But it's volunteers that keep it running. So if you want to come down, then by all means. But uh, at least uh, support them, buy something, uh, a little mug or whatever, or donate a bit of cash. It all keeps it going, and it's. Uh, some heritage you don't often get to see every day, so I'm not panhandling here by the way, I'm just just saying if you want to support them, then please do. Um I think we're gonna do a few more like this. There's a couple more dessert. There's one in Rochdale. Um and then the Queen Street Mill, which I'll run about as well. They are open to the public, but they're not steaming anything yet, so the looms won't be working. Um and the flywheel won't be won't be turning, so I'm gonna keep that back and uh when they are steaming we'll go and have a look at that one as well. Um yeah, and that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed that little video, and I'll see you on the next one.